welcome back everyone in the last part we have seen how we can use the constant voltage to charge the battery in this part we are going to integrate the constant voltage and constant current okay so we have to make few changes over here first we have to get rid of this connection here We need to have a gain block. We will feed this error signal to another PID block. Before that, we need another sum. We will get the current feedback from this one and we need to connect this feedback over here all right now the charging current should not exceed the 20 amperes and the charging voltage should not increase should not exceed 60 voltage let's see if this works the battery is already in charging mode we can see the charging current is somewhere around uh, 1 ampere and the charging voltage is around 54 let's go into discharge mode you can see the discharge current is around 21 ampere and the voltage is again falling very rapidly now, now let's get back to charging mode we can see the charging current is around 22 ampere which should get back below 20 amperes and the charging voltage should also get back to around 60 volt as you can see both of these conditions are getting fulfilled that is how you can implement a constant voltage and constant current charging in the battery pack so i hope you enjoyed the video in the next video we are going to see how we can automate this complete process so thanks a lot for watching the video please do subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next video